decided we're gonna call her Honey Bee. In honor of the late, great Tom Petty, man. Beautiful spot. I gotta get a couple of fish. Get sauce straight in there on the angles, yeah, buddy. That's perfect. Perfect. Let's go with the old dip lock, boys. There it is. Honey Bee, it's one of my favorite tunes. And uh, we saw her on the recommendation list. We saw a lot of cool recommendations. Murder Hornet almost uh, almost had me there. Mud Wasp is really good. Rumble Bee, uh, there's a bunch, really. Some really good suggestions, guys, and I really appreciate that. Now, honey, what should we get into? Let's go with the old Biff Lock, boys. There it is. Oh, ho, 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 I like it. Original mod hooking us up with the riser gas cap. You know, odds and ends. We we're gonna get it tuned. We're gonna get it exhaust. Uh, we got the clutch sorted. Uh, actually, I got a new air box lid coming from our friends at Custom Motor Quad. You should see this custom box lid, man. Wait till you see it, man. We just got a package delivered to the door and I'm almost afraid to go to the door and receive it because I received one of my own Christmas presents the other day. Man, my wife is mad. Well, yeah, I know exactly what this is. And he even customized it. Oh, you gotta check this out. Oh my God. Check this out, man. Wow. OMC style gasket. High and dry, boys, right there, man. Is there something else in there? There is. What is this? Is this a mug or something? That'd be pretty cool. Your brother, it is too. Sink your lips into that. Yeah. Right on, man. Rest assured, she ain't gonna be leaking any water into my airbox with that bad boy. There it is. She's in. Wow, that's tight. Isn't that a killer? Yeah, right here in Canada. You guys are looking for the extra. Insurance, I like to call it. Then, uh, he's your man. Fuck him up. Fuck him, motor plot. So, we'll have to give a lot of calls. See where he's at. Back after some wrenching, we got Stas' steering all tightened up. We put a stronger bolt into the, uh, well, what I would call a pitman arm, but the pinch bolt, well, I tried to tighten down the stock one, snapped it right off. Come back. Just like that. Yeah, <laughs> Sweet. This place is cool. With the dip lock, boys. That's kick ass. That ever sharp lucky unit right there, boys. Well, she's all dried up, bud. Where's the soft spot? Oh, oh, oh. We almost got nipped right there.
going a little hard. She's got ice. She's got ice. All right, let's try this again. It might hold us up. Put on the old diff lock. There we go. Yeah, she's breaking. thing about this diff lock is it doesn't disengage when you're in reverse she's still four lock okay I can feel it air pulling but uh, for the most part like you almost think they beefed up the steering because it handles it really well We're good what the hell is that all about I'm pretty sure we just got limited Try this again. Okay. It's got a limiter on it. Try it again off this side with Visco, but with the diff lock on it, we've not given me RPM. Limited slip up front, the Visco running. We're gonna need dry gloves after this, that's for sure. Let's see if we get limited. As soon as it gets to a certain speed, it must jump in and say, no, 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 you got all four locked, it's a little sketchy.
That's awesome. Try the 850, he says, eh? Hey? All right, stock Outlander 850 XMR 21. And she also has the lock on it. Super smooth, but look at that. Super sticky. That's one thing I like about the QSC, you get rid of that. Smooth and great out, you shift here. Aftermarket clutches. Oh yeah, she's smooth, she's soft. And she feels big, like a butt. What's it like to rip an Outlander, boys? Just find out. She's soft and cushy. I don't want to rip her too much though, it's not my bike. Real good. 